you know, we're always hearing about vitamins. Everybody's extolling the virtues of this or that vitamin. Um, you don't hear that much about vitamin D, and I know you're really excited about it. Yeah. It, why the lowly little vitamin D that we're neglecting? Well, it's just the research has really exploded in the last two or three years about vitamin D, and we know that the RDA was set like 20 years ago when the science was very inadequate. So now, with our new advanced science, we know that people need a lot more vitamin D than the RDA is giving them. Okay. How much is too much? Well, you actually have to check a blood level to know how much is too much. The upper end of the blood level is 100, and anything under 100 is okay. And the proper test is the 25-hydroxy D3. And some doctors will order the 125-hydroxy, which is the wrong test. So okay. your doctor has to order 25-hydroxy D. All right, we're, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, and there's a lot of science mm -hmm. involved in this. Yes. But let's roll back for a second. The RDA... For an adult, is a vitamin D is 200? 200, 400 for an adult, 400. 200 for a child. Okay. And you're suggesting how much? For an adult, most adults need a minimum of 5,000. And I personally take between 10 and 15,000 units a day. What about toxicity? You can get toxic with vitamin D if your blood level goes way above 100. But you have to take a ton of vitamin D to achieve a toxic blood level. Vitamin A is a fat-soluble vitamin as well, mm -hmm. and that one is much more toxic. So right. you do have to be more careful with vitamin A. But vitamin D can be toxic at super high doses, like 50,000 units every day for months. You can get some vitamin D toxicity. But, but I read on the milk carton, they, they put vitamin D in the milk. Right. Isn't that enough? It's not enough. It's not even close to being enough. So... Again, if, if there are parents out there and you're hearing this and you think, okay, my, my child needs a little more vitamin D, they're not getting enough from the milk or from sunshine. No. Again, they say they're a little nervous about going above and beyond the RDA. Yeah. Where can they find research? There's something called the Vitamin D Council of America. And if you Google that, I'm sure you'd find it. And they have tons of articles on the website that explain about the importance of vitamin D. But they've done studies where they gave newborn infants 2,000 units a day, and they were fine. Matter of fact, they were very healthy. Okay. All right. We've really kind of hammered this point. You also want to make the point that it's very important to, you know, in keeping good health and uh, is to keep healthy weight. Yes. Um, how do you do that? I mean... Well... People cannot achieve a healthy weight, in my opinion, without having, obviously, a healthy diet, all the nutrients that they need, because nu nutrients give our bodies energy. They allow our bodies to burn energy and burn fat as mm -hmm. fuel. So if you're deficient in any of your vitamins, you actually can't burn fat. Same thing with hormones. If you're low in testosterone or thyroid, you can't burn fat. So your hormones have to be balanced and have to be optimized before people can even try to achieve weight loss. Well, people go on all these wacky diets and I know. exercising and Nothing happens and, and it's, it, very, it's very discouraging yeah. because so. their hormones are poor and their, their nutrients are low and they're not going to be able to lose weight. So anyway, that is something that has to be done in order to be able to achieve weight loss. All right. So give your body what it really needs. Right. And uh, what should take care of itself? Well, you know, in extreme cases where people have a lot of weight to lose, there there are, you know, special diets. And I'm a big fan of the human chorionic gonadotropin HCG diet. This one that I did myself twice <laughs> and um, actually lost about 50 pounds. And so it made a huge difference for me. And the thing is that because most weight loss pills are toxic, you know, mm -hmm. diet pills are actually very, very dangerous. dangerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't recommend those at all. But because this HCG is a natural bioidentical hormone, it's actually extremely extremely safe and so it helps pe it suppresses appetite and helps the body burn fat at a rapid rate mm -hmm. so people lose weight quickly and safely and pretty comfortably as well you're not like dying of starvation you're yeah. not so well, it's a it's a good diet it's a safe diet and that's one and that's one that I recommend for people once their basic diet nutrition hormones are balanced all right well we do know the effects of uh, obesity and how it taxes the heart uh, diabetes yeah. uh, increases uh, the risk of cancer, cancer. everything